hello everyone welcome to check leopard channel and in today's video i'm going to show you how to fix if some of the keys are not working on your laptop keyboard now if you are stuck on the login screen because your keyboard is not working and you cannot put in your password or pin there is an easy fix so what you can do is just click on this icon which is ease of access and from here click on on screen keyboard then this keyboard will appear and using this keyboard you can just put in your password to enter the computer now once you're inside click on the start icon and then click on settings now from here click on ease of access now from the left scroll down until you find keyboard here it is and then click on it and then scroll down here until you find use filter keys and if you see this option disabled you can try enabling it and if it is enabled you can try disabling it and see if the keyboard works and if you enable it and there is a beep sound when you press a key you can just uncheck this box and there will not be any beep sound now after that let's move on to the next fix now at this point we are gonna have to bring back the on-screen keyboard to continue so click on start and then click on settings now from here click on ease of access and then from the left scroll down until you find keyboard and then click on it and then click on this toggle button here to bring the on-screen keyboard and once it is on your screen go to the search box and then search for device and the best match should come up as device manager and then click on it now from here we need to find keyboards here it is and then double click on it and then select your keyboard and then double click on it again now from here select the driver tab and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers make sure that you are connected to the internet and as you can see here the best driver for my device is already installed so i can close it and then close this window as well now there is another fix that you can do here which is removing the driver completely so that a new version of driver is installed so what you can do is double click on it and then go to the driver again and then click on uninstall device and then click on uninstall and from here you need to restart your computer as you can see here to finish removing the device you must restart your computer do you want to restart your computer now and once you click on yes your computer will restart and if you are connected to the internet your computer will download the driver again for your keyboard so i'm not gonna do that now now if the problem is still here there is one more fix that i'm going to show you now so we are going to expand our on-screen keyboard again and then click on the search box here and then type in task and then space and then sc and you should see task scheduler and then click on it now let me minimize the on-screen keyboard now from here you need to double click on task scheduler library and then double click on microsoft and then double click on windows now scroll down until you find text services framework and once you find it click on it now from the right you need to click on enable after that click on run now all you need to do is just restart your computer so i'm just gonna quickly do that start and then power and then restart now after the restart i hope your keyboard is working fine and that's it for today i hope this video was helpful if it was please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe